I don't know what sort of B mod things and things I've got installed, so we'll have to take a look. If things don't work, it's probably like the latest version of B mod, so I might need to install some stuff. Also, I might need to just um, sort my palette out here. As you can see, I've um, really not done a lot with anything here. That's probably what I can't remember what I was working on last time. But uh, all right, so if I save that as a stream map, and then I guess we're going to have to sort out our palette. Uh, guys, ideas for elements on the palette as well. Give me some ideas. Be mod. Um, blop. No, not that one. That one. No, not that one. Do we not have a middle monitor? I guess I don't. All right, there we go. That works. All right, so let's add some stairs. And you said light bridge, which we don't have at the minute, so I'll add a light bridge in. Um, We've got gels, we've got cubes, we've got buttons, fizzlers, funnels, lasers. I think for now that'll probably do. I actually made a horror demo game for. You did. Um, yeah, I, I knew you was working on one errand. I did, I did, I did. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, last export. There we go. So I've got that out again. Yeah, I, I do remember you mentioning it. Um, you didn't really get anywhere with it then, or? Oh. Interesting. created one before. Um, right, so. I th so I think Iron Smeltry's idea that he, they were saying was something like this. So let's say we had pull surface there. And then on the opposing surface, we had a light bridge, like so. But then we have access to that, with some stairs kind of thing. But the stairs would block that, so we'd need to go up like that. That. So, how? Oh, what if you had that? Uh, okay, how would this work? You could have that, I guess, right? The portal surface there. And then you would have another set of stairs on here blocking that. I think that's what you would probably. No, I'll publish. Christ. <laughs> Alright, that's not broken. That's good. Look on Discord. Um, you made it more than a year ago. It's based on the, on the back rooms. If you haven't heard it, no, I haven't. 
We started it when the crew pass was very popular. We thought it'd be cool to make it into a game. It was quite simple to make two, but someone overtook us and we cancelled the full game because of it. I only released the demo. Also, Megas, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've been through, um, we've played through a uh, portal map uh, mod that we've played through the Rise of Danger tonight. So, um, yeah, we're just going to try and maybe get some ideas about this. Now, that's not working because that's not intersecting that. I mean, we could bring the light bridge down midway and then it would get intersected. Also, I've got the wrong type of stairs on. I've got, like, the block stairs that you can't retract, so... Um, that's something to note. Um, oh, you're streaming what you're doing? Where are you gone? What's going on with Discord? Or maybe because it's streaming, it won't let me pop it out. Well, that's silly. See what you got there? Intersecting light bridges, and then, okay, so that counts that, so. Okay, I kind of see what you're trying to do there. Like I said, though, I've got the wrong, um, I've got the wrong things uh, on my stairs. It's probably my B mod settings rather than anything else. So back to the pallet we go. <laughs> back to the pallet we go. There's a setting on the stairs, isn't there? Um, block stairs, that's what we want. We don't want block stairs. No, it's the block stairs, Iron Smeltery. Um, that's what I don't want. Because now if I rebuild this without that setting on, it will give me normal stairs. I'm pretty sure. Also, if my frames drop while I'm compiling, then I apologize. Now, I know you can't make them retract, but my point is I had the wrong type of stairs. Those are solid block stairs that don't retract. They're not the normal sort of um, panelled kind of stairs with the arms on them. So look, now they're the proper ones, you see. Yeah, I did say, yeah. While I compile stuff, my stream will drop. But yeah, okay, so then... Yeah, you, so your idea was something like, let's get rid of this, and this, and heck, we'll just get rid of everything. So you'd have like that up there, you'd have a ledge out here, for instance, you'd have this, which you'd have a portable surface there, for instance. And then you could have your light bridge here with a panel on there. And then you'd want a floor button somewhere which would connect to that. And then what you could do All right, so let's let's just let's sort of play around with this for a moment. Um, 
So you would need to stand on this to do that. How could you... I'm just trying to think how you could work that into a puzzle. How could you work that into a puzzle? Yeah, that could be that, that could be like floor level, so you could use that. So I was thinking that maybe you have something on here which opens that. It's obviously a pretty rubbish puzzle at the minute. You just walk through here and don't interact with that. So it's just trying to work out what we can do with these stairs. And then also because we've got we need a cube effectively for that. So So what if we had, again, this is just spitballing ideas. We could have something like this. And then this is also going to connect to something over here. So if we move that back, and then we have, say, a, I don't have one here. The Wolf 7850, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So what if we had like an angled panel here, or some sort of panel whereby when we stand on this button here, it opens the panel so we can fire the portal, but then it would close the panel. All right, let me, let me save and let me go back to our palette. We'll add in some angled panels that we can control. Um, glass panel. Let's put a normal angle panel in there as well. I don't think we want anything else at the moment. We've got most of the stuff on. I mean, this is all decorative stuff anyway, so I mean, we don't need any of that sort of stuff for mm. now. Because then when the cube is on the button, we can use the panel. But then we need to also make it so that we can't just like go through the, put the cube on the button and then walk through. We also need to like make it so that we actually need to use the light bridge. So to do that, we could do that and then we could lower these areas here. And although I don't have it, we're just going to imagine this is deadly goo for now. Okay. Those areas will be unportable. Easy for me to say. Um, so then we have our panel here. which would be on the door for now, maybe. We'll put it on the other side because of things and stuff. Then that's also going to connect onto there. And that's going to start deployed at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's just test this for a moment. Just got to use a bit of imagination at this point in time because um, 
I don't want to keep jumping in and out too much of like changing the pallets and reloading the game because it just takes too much time. But hopefully we'll get the idea. So the panel is down. So I'm going to just have to use a cube real quickly. So the requirement here would be that we would need to do that and that. Now, the only way to get across to here now is that we're just playing around with some stuff, humbly. Um, welcome along, by the way. Hope you're well. Um, you may or may not remember we, we put... Oh, you may or may not have been here for it. But we put out a new idea the other day. Um... Uh, about once we were done maybe doing some mapping or maybe just splitting up the mod stuff and doing some mapping so yeah we, we finished up what we was doing tonight and I thought I'd just jump into some some planning and, and stuff just to see what we can do maybe start the basis of a map for our, our new hammer project so the idea here would be what need a ledge here so we can stand there and then do other things perhaps see my thought process is we have to do that to open up a panel to be able to place a portal in there just ignore that it, I can't see it for now it's just a, a a little minor detail I mean we can see it from there so it's not a big problem so then if we were to think okay well, we're just gonna walk over the light bridge in there can take that across there like that. But then we can't obviously get out because of the cube being on there. So how would we then manipulate this further? Okay, what if, what if that was portable? We have a light bridge there instead. Do that, do that, drop down to there. Maybe our button falls in line with that. What difference does that make? Use the hearth width door. I don't think I need to use the half. I don't need to use the half glass door at the moment because we can use the stairs to get up and actually um, see the portal surface. I think. So yeah, Iron Smelter gave us the base idea for this fumbling. It's something that they've been playing with. Okay, so. I don't really know that that has the same effect, does it? We need to do that. We go through here. And then we do this and walk across to here. Then while we're up here, we would then need to get rid of the cube somehow. Obviously, this exit door wouldn't be open. So it's almost like that off there would give us the exit. So what I'm thinking then... something like this so exit door would be open right now but we're not up there and we can't open this yeah I 
I don't know how I'm going to get this to work. So you send me a picture on internal tree. It's your and your idea, you're blocking it head on, okay. It's sort of like, how though would I... Got any ideas on this? So I would go to there, exit would start to be open, and then that would obviously negate. Yeah, so you, you need to get up there to do that. So I'm happy with that bit. It's just the after bit, but... And obviously we'd need some sort of puzzle to get the cube for a start as well. I don't think I can get this to work for what I want to do. The only way to get that to work would be potentially to move the light bridge to say here. But then I don't know if that just makes too easy a puzzle. Because the, the, the big sticking point is when... Oh, let me just... Maybe I move the portal surface on the other side of the stairs, but then I don't think that would really have the right effect either. Unless there's a way here that I could...
Yo, DW, what's going on, buddy? See, this won't work at all because, like, there's there's no way ever that the light bridge would ever get over to this cube. So that's that would be a no-no. But yeah, as you rightly said though, we don't necessarily need to have the stairs. We, we could have just something as simple as this, maybe. A 30 degree angle, I think, would be even, like, sort that out. So that's going to do that. This doesn't work here, does it? That's that's the big thing. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work, is it? Because that will just all that will just keep that off there all, all the time. Death wish for. The 12 months resub. You absolute leg end. Although I'm pretty sure that you've already subscribed for 12 months. Pretty sure you'd already subscribed for 12 months a few weeks ago. But uh, buddy, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the 12 month Twitch Prime resub. You legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even got an emote to boot. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But yeah, this scenario is not going to work because with a cube on that button, we're never going to be able to activate the button, are we? Because of the light bridge. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking through my notifications. Death Wish Raider with a party of one. Death Wish Raider with a party of one. Yeah, twenty days ago. Death Wish. Subscribe. Twelve months with the with the with the prime. What are you talking about Twitch? Maybe it will work. But how does that impact the puzzle? I think we're going to need the stairs. But yeah, we, we can't then get across here, can we? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a no-no. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm at a loss with this idea at the minute. We go to Maybe I don't need the panel on the door side. Maybe I need the panel over here instead. Ah, uh, okay, that might work actually. Instead of having it there. But then the whole point of having it there was it was behind the panel and we need to open the panel to get to the exit. We do that, and then we do that. And we connect that to that. And then we 
we'll just have a cube. We'll take away the dropper for now. We don't need the dropper. I'm sure this is similar to your your setup um, from the picture that you sent me, Iron Smeltery. Put on some music. Where's the um uh... let's just put on the portal to OST. Still out, guys, and I'll turn it down a few things. Do you know what, actually? Your idea is better, Iron Smeltery. Celeste would be a lovely background OST to work with. Uh, game OSTs. Thinks he's got an idea, guys. See, my idea would be something like this, but then the buttons needed for the exit. Got to do something else with the cube, so... The only way to do anything with that would be to... Put that under there. Man, I'm so rusty when it comes to making maps. The issue, I think you've got the same issue as I have though, Iron Smelter, where it all comes down to like trying to get that to come, it's trying to utilize that light bridge once you're blocking it with the bridge, uh, the stairs, that's the issue. You block that with the stairs and it, it just leaves you with so many things that you cannot do then. Okay, I, I, I got something maybe. I might have something. Death wish! Thank you very much for the cheer 10, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so. The idea would be. Blocking this, this would be up here. I have to go over here. Like 
that should block that when it's on there. So that's going to be down there. That's going to be down there. So then we would have a portal surface there. Portal surface there, maybe. And then this button here would connect to the exit door. So we need that there. All right, family, thanks a lot. Let's hang by. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Iron Smelter came up, Deathwish, with the idea of a puzzle where you could have a light bridge that was blocked by the stairs. So the stairs would cut off access to the light bridge in some way, shape, or form. Now the only way this would work is if I had to say like that, we have these two portal surfaces there. Because that would have to intersect over these two surfaces as opposed to the light bridge one. And then, so we would go in here. All right, let me just play around with this a moment see what we can do from here or what we can come up with from here at least because ultimately I'm thinking ultimately I'm thinking can we do it so that we have to drop the cube onto the button from the light bridge. That's the sort of angle I'm taking at the moment. What can we do with this? So... But again, I'm then faced with the same issue. Okay. Do this, go across here. Switch out the portal here. And then we could do something like that, but that's just, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit simplistic, isn't it? And that doesn't really add, it doesn't really give me the effect because the, the stairs are pointless. So what if, instead, this was pushed back for some reason, and we had to get in here for some reason. So we have the cube, we put that on there, that allows us to get on the light bridge and then do something over here. So what if, like, in here... We had... An area like this... So we had a portal surface here and here, to allow quick access back. This surface here... Oh, we have a pedestal button maybe here? which connects to So if we had this, we'll go back again. So we have the cube, we do this, and that does that. 
then we come over to here. That allows us to come over to here. Okay, so what can we do from here? If we was to auto drop the first cube, we could then recall the cube. Yeah, that's something we could do. So then this button here is connected to that. I'm going to lose these pole surfaces here because I don't think they would add anything. Memories or nightmares, Mika? <laughs> I think nightmares is probably more what we're going for there. So we'd also drop the first cube. that that is that we can now go up to here and we can get the cube back we can recall the cube so what could we then do from here Because like Deathwish said, I think it's it's it would make sense not to have a ground level portal surface. You think you can have a half wall there? Mm, okay. But then how do we interact with the cube? I mean an option would be to if we had a portal surface in here. We could grab the cube as it falls, potentially. Um, portal. Um, oh, what's the command to? placement never fail one all right so what if we had like this for instance and that that's too far away isn't it yeah no I know what you're trying to say we can put that there what if I put a timer delay on the respawn we had a portal surface in here, and then we can say like two second delay. You press the you put a portal there, you press the button, you walk out onto here, press that one there, walk back out, and then grab the cube. Is that too Is that too finicky? Activation delayer, and then we want half panels. accessible to there. So then I'm allowed to use these activate the activation delayer. So I think it is. Remove the connection from there. 
this then connects to there, that connects to there, and then we set a delay of two seconds, say on there. Remove the connection visibility on that, and do that. Oh no, cancel. So we missed a pole surface on here. <gasps> Aerosplane destroyed aperture. Don't tell anyone. Shh, 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 shh. Should we should we request a quest to watch his gameplay? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Hold on. Um... I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Okay, so. We have that there. We then go across to here. Oh, that wouldn't work though, would it? We'd have to press it twice. Uh. Aaron's spook now. <laughs> him. Perhaps a button activated on the wall. On the wall activated by funnel. Yeah, but I'm not sure I want a funnel. I, I, I want to try and keep it simple. I don't want to put, I, I wouldn't want to put too many elements in. <laughs> what if we did this? I mean, it would need some work, but and, and there's a better way to do it, but... Because there's the like floor level fizzler things. I don't think that would catch it. But what if when we press that button, it activates the fizzler, fizzles the cube, which would lower the stairs. Well, this has a three second delay on it. We then get on the bridge portal to there to grab the cube as it comes out the dropper. Is that too complicated? Hey, Sonny, what's going on? Don't just ignore the ant line mess at the minute. I'm not bothered too much about the ant lines. Why is that a timed item? Did I forget how to, how to how to do puzzle maker stuff? Probably. Uh, 
And I'm just trying, like I say, I'm just trying to think of a way around to like get rid of the cube, but also give me enough time before the cube drops without, or else the, the, the messy way to do it would be to press the button and respawn it again. The right cube type death wish. So that would take us up here. We're not going coding tonight. Huh, that sucks. Sorry, Sonny. So if we set that to one, that's on three. That would give us two seconds to do that. So I think... I mean, I would tidy this up. I mean, don't don't worry that I'm putting a funnel in here. I'm just doing it for the effect at the minute. So then I'll put a pedestal button in here. Yeah, it's on one second. We connect that. Connect it to that, and we connect it to that. So pull it through there, then it'll do that, and that, and that. Okay. I think this will work. I think. set that to disable. God damn it. <sighs> the thing is though, I think my most successful like Portal 2 map was the one where I'd been heavily inspired by somebody else, which is the last one that I made. I, I feel like that was like my best map. But half or the majority of the idea, or I got the majority of the idea from like Demon when Demon was making a map on stream, so. Okay, so that goes there. That now just come up to here. And we'll portal there, portal there. Then we do that and that, but there was no delay. That allows to catch that, place that back there, walk across here, and then we we'll just have a fizzler here. And as I walk through, it drops it onto there. the 
Where does it tell you? Doesn't it normally tell you what each of the things are? I think it's the second one. The activator is the middle one. So why didn't that work properly? I think it's denoted by the arrow, isn't it? Oh, good point, Deathwish. Yeah, sorry, no, I'm... Okay, I think that's what you mean, isn't it? So I need just, if I hadn't set that to auto drop, that would have been fine. And then we can either fire a portal off here. I don't know, I mean, the whole main mechanic is meant to be the, the light bridge and the stairs. Is there enough emphasis on that? I mean, I suppose, because if the stairs weren't here, you could literally just portal there, portal there, and walk across, right? I mean, we solved the problem. I just don't think it is particularly a, a great puzzle. So the next question will be, how can we make that puzzle better? Or how can we add more to that puzzle? Using the light bridge without you being on it. not because I've got enough time to walk back haven't I have I got enough time to walk back though I've got what five seconds
about breaking the puzzle? Can we... Sure, it's a little bit tight timing, but it works. Well, where do you take it from here? Where do we take it from here? That is the good question. A, it's not very challenging, and B, it's ugly as hell. I mean, this is all based on Iron Smeltry's idea, Deathwish, so I mean... Yeah, I mean, it'd be good if... Almost like this was a bit of a tutorial room, maybe, and then we could go into like something a little bit more advanced after this, possibly. or some glass. We wouldn't need that pole surface there. we clear the portal by walking through the fizzler. Hey Paul Parky, what's going on buddy? Welcome along. Hope you're well. Put the fizzler on the ceiling. 
You are mostly recovered. Have you been, have you been sick, Paul Ponky? If, uh, did you say you were sick the last time he was here? If you did, I apologise. I don't remember um, seeing you say you were sick, but uh, glad to hear you better, buddy. Yeah, that looks awful. <laughs> Maybe I don't need that. Maybe we'll just do... Get rid of that. Change that to... Fizzler like that. You know what, we could maybe even just do this now as well. If we're doing that... Could just make that all the way across, block this off here like that. I can even go on this wall now. There's no point in putting it on that other one. Probably want to shift all that across one block though. I don't like the way that is. Across to there. I can go there. And bring that across there, like that. Then the door lines up with that pole surface there, just like that. So is there anything different I can do with like this? I'm just going to create a little bit of an area here just to test something over here. You had a bicycle crash, poor Ponky. And I assume by bicycle you mean like an actual cycle as opposed to like a motorcycle. That's what we do here. All right, so now we can get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. This will go in here. That will start, not start enabled. Damage did you do, poor Ponky? Don't need to go like that far out. We just really need to go to like there. Push the button there. Um, now. I can imagine. I, I had a bike accident when I was like a kid, but 
where I went over somebody's uh, bonnet. I remember that was quite painful. Talking of pain, though, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I, I actually had an accident yesterday. I was um, tidying up after my kids, and uh, my son had left his X Rocker gaming chair out in the middle, and I was like walk, trying to, I was like walking around it to like go and shut the curtains and shut the windows and things in his bedroom. Totally misjudged um, my trajectory around the gaming chair and kicked it like as hard as I could have possibly kicked it, and. I don't know. It feels like I've like broken a toe or something, but it's it's got a very nasty, nasty, nasty shade. Half black and purple today. It's not very nice at all. And it hurts like hell. Turn from your backside and pulled your back out. Ow. So maybe there I need a <laughs> you know, you know, you got whiplash. <sighs> oh jeez. Alright, so maybe bring that in a little bit. We don't need this bit here. Yeah, there's There was a there was a song like from the can't remember. I can't remember when it came out. No, ignore that train of thought. I don't know where I was going with that at all. <laughs> oh jeez. So that that that's that's a sign. That's a sign of getting old. You start talking about things and randomly. You lose your train of thought. All right, so let's move that here. Can I now? Um, so what I'm going to do now is save and update my palette again. I want one of those recess buttons. I think that could look quite nice. Actually, do I need a recess button? Hold on. Hold on, I don't necessarily need, I'll add one in, but I don't necessarily need one. Um, not the retractable button. Oh, what are they called? These ones, the trigger buttons. That's what I want. It's the trigger button. It's me, it's the trigger button. Okay, so take that out, lower that, and then place that there, and then this is for that, 
And what else did that do? Exit button. That might look a lot nicer. Also, I should have added lights to the palette as well, but we don't need to worry about that too much at the minute. Iron Smash is going to be shouting at me yet again because I haven't, um, I still haven't put the flag on to start me at the door in B mod. <laughs> oh, that didn't look good. Alright, so. Oh, that's not right. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I can't put that there. Well, that scuffers my plans. Alright, well I guess I'm going to have to just use the, a normal, I mean the other thing I could use, I haven't got it in my, again I haven't got it in my palette, but I could use a, um, That works. Sure. Your most powerful moment was at Kung Fu training 16 years ago. You trained Tiger Jump. Led me to crash my spine in the back. I dropped so that I was upside down. Back of the neck crash on the floor. My spine bent. Wow. I think like I've had like so many like accidents and things over the years. That'll work, right? I think we got it. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I've had so many like incidents and things and accidents in my time. Like last year on my on my holiday, me and my wife went on our own without the kids for our uh, celebrate our 10 year wedding anniversary. Um, I was playing, uh, I think it was water polo in the pool, and I kind of, the ball went out and I was like getting outside the pool, 
to get the uh, to get to reach for the ball, but rather than actually getting out the pool, I decided it would be a good idea to sort of like rest just here at the bottom of my ribs, and I think I literally like cracked a rib because I was like putting all my weight on like this side of my rib here, and the next few days it was like even painful just to freaking breathe. It was like ridiculous, like ridiculous. Yeah, it looks that the stairs aren't aligned with the bridge. What would you rather do? Just sort of like turn them? I mean, I can turn them. It's not an issue to do that. Do that. That's not going to be a good place. I mean, I guess probably there may be the best place to do that. Yeah, that's understandable, Mika. I think maybe here. And like I said before, don't worry too much about the ant lines at the minute. We can we'll address all these later. Although I'm actually thinking why not move every shift everything across like one block over here. I mean, these are just like really silly little things, but by doing that, I can keep like this bit and this part of the bridge all in the same space. I think I need potentially. Do I even need that much space? I could probably reduce this down a little bit more. I think, so like, like, I think if this is going to be a tutorial room, I think the, the more compact, the better. I don't like that there though. So maybe we come into the chamber somewhere else. Actually, I think we can push this back one block. Like that. I don't want to sort of like walk in and like just have one block there. I, I don't know. Then I also wonder, why not do something like this? And then I don't have like a little peepee -pee hole kind of thing there. But I worry that I've got enough room now to get over to there to pick up that cube. So let's let's try this. Let's try it. Perhaps I could walk over two blocks to be aligned with the floor button. But going back to sort of like accidents and things, I've like, I've um, like done my back in, I've damaged soft tissue, I've damaged my spine, I've like sprained and badly damaged like your feet and stuff, my ankles and knees and stuff. It's quite crazy. Uh, Grace, what's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Good to see you.
Did that not work? That would work. It's got to stop it from doing that. So I think adding some of those little blocks around the edge as well. Uh, not those ones. I have probably not got them in my thing. But yeah, adding some blocks there as well. People can make the jump to the exit. Well, if people can do that, then we just do this. It's, that's simple. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a conductive plate instead. So, uh, I can't remember if I said hello, but hello, hi, Greatest. How you doing? I think I did say hello. Sorry, just um, stuff and things going on at the minute. Everything's a little bit crazy at the moment. So, let's chuck a conductive. I don't want that one. Let's chuck a conductive plate in there. I want some lights. Don't want that one. And not using a funnel at the minute. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Throw that in. I probably won't need that if I'm using a conductive plate. So. Of the big antline routers, uh, not antline routers, the big. I can't remember how to use the antline magnets. What was you showing me on? Okay, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Sorry. Uh. So we do this, we get rid of that, we want a conductive plate on there, conductive plate does that, and it also does that. Iron Smelter thinks, Grace, thank you very much for the follow, legend. My only core concern there, I mean, maybe just do it as one. Because my only concern is have I got enough time to get from all the way down there back to where I need to go? hunt Dan Dazzle thank you very much for the follow legend legend lighting is not a strong point for me 
I'll be honest. And I know you can remove these in DMOD, but I like to do it like that. Let's just throw a few lights in for now. Uh, I'm not importing this to Hammer, no, I'm just playing around in Puzzle Maker and then the idea would be to make it from scratch in Hammer. I, would ne I, I wouldn't be looking to do uh, an export, Grace, don't worry. This is not what we would be looking to do. Yeah, I mean, they're just like aesthetically, as aesthetic things. I'm not too bothered at the moment about doing those sorts of things. I, I do agree that it does look good. But at the moment, I'm not too bothered about making it look too pretty. I was more just going for functionality here than anything else. Um, which I think we're actually getting to now, so. Alright, so. Move this. This moves up to here. Move this block back one touch. Like that. I may just give another second for leniency on that as well. Because it doesn't... Why was there a delay there, actually? Why was there a delay? Seems a bit. Oh, hold on a minute, though. Maybe you could use the stairs again. I don't think the half wall would solve the problem. It's to do with not putting your portal too high on there. My thought was though, could I not, if I, so let's imagine I did this. There we go. I like that better because it's almost like reusing the stairs again. But how would you enforce using the stairs? put the bridge inside next to the pedestal.
Hey Mike, what's going on? Yeah, it sort of started out as an idea that Iron Smeltry was uh, mentioning earlier on about how he was trying to look at a puzzle move where um, a set of stairs interacted, uh, intersected a, a light bridge and that stopped you from doing something. So this is sort of what I, I've come up with um, for now. Um, maybe in the form of a, like a tutorial room that we can then expand on upon further. I... That doesn't block... The stairs don't block that, do they? If the stairs don't block it, then this is a... I don't think the stairs block it, though, Deathwish. That's what I'm more worried about. I know I just said that like a ridiculous amount of times. I apologise. light bridge. Yeah, that's the only problem. I, I can't get rid of that. So I don't think I can... I can't get rid of the half panel, Deathwish. Oh, so I can't use the light bridge there. That's the thing. Is there a quarter variant though? That's the problem. Oh, I could use this. Can I use this though and invert it? You see, I'm I'm so I, I'm so like unexperienced. With portal and map making and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I can invert it, can't I? It's been such a long while since I made anything. So I can change this to... That... Portal it, and then I could put a light strip at the bottom as well, just to so that can't be used, right? Again, don't worry about the antline placements. I'm not worried too much about that at the moment. So that should actually fix all that up.
quite a few Mika, I'd say, because the, this this level is uh, Reflection, and that's the last one that I was attempting to do the Goldberry on. So I would say quite a few hours, if I'm honest. I really need to pick up the control room. Play some more Celeste. Eh? Okay. Why wasn't that inverted? I don't think I've still listened to... I don't think I've even listened to... Um, to Lana, the, the girl who does the soundtrack for Celeste, has actually made um, a new song for Minecraft in 1.16. I don't think I've actually listened to that yet. Okay. So we do something like that. Dubstep? Interesting. Very interesting. Still, I'm, I don't understand about the moving the door. Can you move that door back? I still quite like the idea of doing something like if I had that and that so I still like that idea where you have to get onto the you get onto the stair to get onto there so you don't have to do that jump I wonder if I repeat that on the top though, just to take off that top bit as well. It's like I'm fractionally too late to do that. But that could be resolved if I was... That could be resolved if I was... The button was here. Yeah. Hey yeah. Sorry. Do 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 do. I also want to take that back a bit because I don't think I don't feel like there's enough space there anymore. I feel like I'm crowded in there.
Let's see how I'd make that one work though. All I could do would be to put a, a light strip on there, I guess, to limit that down, but I think that would look odd. So I'm thinking at the minute it's more like a tutorial level. Do you know what I'm thinking though? I'm thinking about moving... Lightbridge is there, gets blocked there. I think this would be better over here somewhere. Early. I see where you're coming from there, Mike. I mean, thinking about it, the... The only point of like blocking the light bridge is really just to let us to get on let us get on the stairs, isn't it? door away to literally anywhere except in the tile where it is like left or right I understand the idea of the stairs sounds cool but it can be frustrating for some players trying to work out something like that oh, okay so okay I, I think I see what you mean The entrance door. And then copy that across to there. Oops. So would that not be better sort of in the corner possibly? But yeah, Mike. Mike's made. Mike raised a good point there that, other than to get on the light bridge, what does this? What does blocking? What does the stairs actually bring to the puzzle?
I mean, you could take away the Fizzler. And you could potentially here then we could potentially all right guys no worries thanks a lot for hanging appreciate it have a good uh, have a good sleep i won't be much longer before i wrap things up tonight because time is getting on If I take away the need to like walk for a fizzler or something, then blocking the stairs is required to drop the cube back onto the button. But then does all gating that connection give anything to the puzzle? a bit more, right? That makes the stairs a little bit more involved in the puzzle. Maybe now I'm trying to find a way to bring Cube behind the fizzler to open the door. I don't know about taking that through there, Mika. I don't know how I would do that. I don't really want to. I want to sort of limit the number of portal surfaces. Maybe just have a pedestal button. I mean, if we wanted to, we could mix it up by. I haven't got any in my palette here, but we could add a. Um, we could have a yellow fizzler here. But I mean, even if we had the cube. It would be it would be totally possible to get the cube up here. We can do that, which doesn't do anything for the player. The way your port wall port surfaces are now, you can jump from the cube on the light bridge and yeah it's a good point death wish Um, 
I want to know the command to clear portals. Well, I just proved the point anyway that it can be done. I mean, I dare say you could probably even don't even need the cube like you just said, Deathwish. So I dare say you could probably just do this. In which case, you'd probably only want to be able to shoot a portal here. Could you then make it so you only see that pole surface from there? I mean, the other thing to do... I mean, it, I don't really want to get too bogged down in this sort of thing right now, but you could then reduce the areas where the light bridges are down to sort of like another level. It's only really this one though, isn't it? Well, that just looks a bit odd. But yeah, that's sort of like things that I can worry about later. I almost think, I wonder if I just make it so that I can only see this area from somewhere over here. Okay, that's interesting. Rather big area, but it's interesting for sure. Well, it's given me something to think about. So, I think we've got a good starting idea for. I mean, if, if anything else, this was main, mainly meant to be just like a tutorial room. So. I think I know where I could fix it though. I could fix it by... I think I could fix it by having like a flip panel possibly. And that you have to activate the flip panel as part of this activation over here or there's something over here that you can like flip it. That way it's not in play until you've actually been up here so then jumping on there doesn't really serve any purpose. I suppose. Because you've already done the hard work and done it once already. Possibly. Or. Instead, I mean, it's it's ugly. But 
then that would do that. I need some sort of permanent activation on that as opposed to a on a timer. But that could be like an off off that could be like a hidden mechanic or behind the scenes mechanic maybe. But that sort of thing we can play around with anyway. So like I said, we've made a I'm pretty happy with what we've we've started. Um yeah, it's pretty good. I've, I've really sort of enjoyed sort of playing around with, with some ideas and stuff. Uh, I've, I'll need to look at them. I don't think I've ever used toggle latches before from BMOD. So, but yeah. Anyway, um, that will bring us to the end of the stream, guys. Thank you very much for all hanging out and for your helpful suggestions and ideas. Like I say, I think if we could maybe like do this as a tutorial room and then almost expand on it a little bit more and make a better puzzle and a bigger puzzle in our next chamber and then we could potentially then start thinking about how we could hammerize it it's probably something that's going to take us months and months and months to complete but you know i've started it's a good solid start in place so um yeah yeah i'm happy guys thank you very much for tuning in like i said i appreciate the support we'll be back on saturday night somewhere somehow some doing something i don't know what we're going to be doing but until then guys thank you very much i've been knock you've been awesome take care bye, -bye.